an unfortunate event reunites estranged twins Maggie and Milo. But the reunion makes them face where their lives have gone wrong. Hi, Angel. Mother. They soon realize that the key to a better life means healing their own relationship in The Skeleton Twins. Hi, I'm Sean. I'm here with Kevin and Zoriana, and we're going to talk about The Skeleton Twins, the drama starring Bill Hader and Kristen Wiig. We've all just seen it. Kevin, was there enough meat on this movie's bones for you? There was. Um, I really like this movie. It's, you know, it's not a happy movie. Yeah. Um, there is some humor because we have Kristen Wiig and Bill Hader, but um, I thought they did an excellent job here um, playing dramatic roles. We haven't seen that that often from them. So I think they are really the reason to see this movie. But I also, I thought the story was interesting and I like the writing for it too. I think we don't see a lot of movies about the 30 something experience. It's usually, you know, 20 somethings and teenagers or midlife crisis. So you never see that kind of in-between stage, and I thought that was uh, refreshing to see. Yeah, the reason to see this film is because of Kristen Wiig and Bill Hader, former SNLers, so you kind of expect that when their names are on a poster that it's going to be a comedy, and then you're in for this rude awakening because <laughs> it is so not that. But you can also see why these two would be attracted to a script like this because no studio in Hollywood would ever cast them in these parts. It's depressing. Um, the subject matter is, uh, there's actually several subject matters. You've got suicide, affairs, illicit sexual relationships, some of which are inappropriate. Uh, I mean, there's, there's, there's so much going on. This is one very dysfunctional family. It did take me about 20 minutes to warm up to the movie. I think it's when the characters warmed up to each other. Because at first I was like, I'm not sure I really want to spend that much time with these people. They're, they're pretty depressing. But, uh, you know, they, they eventually form a rapport and they have fun with each other. And that really brings a necessary lightheartedness to the material. And when they sing Nothing's Gonna Stop Us Now by Starship, I was- Lip sync, I don't- Lip sync, you're right, lip sync. I'm sorry, it's not a musical, yes. But that was a, that was a fun scene. The only issue I had performance-wise was that at times, Bill Hader for me went a little bit uh, the way of Stefan, his character on Saturday Night Live. But other than that, I, I, I thought he was good. It, there, there, it was so minute. I mean, maybe if you never saw that skit, you wouldn't think that. Maybe I'm reading too much into it. But it's funny because I, I liked those touches. I don't, I didn't think it went too overboard. I mean, I did think about the skit just because I was like, oh, he's actually played gay before. But I liked that he actually kind of repressed the cliche stereotype gay qualities. Mm -hmm. You see just a little twist of the wrist or the way he said something that made you made you realize that he was gay, but it wasn't the focus. He was a person who happened to be gay, yeah. who had all these other issues. Have you read Marley and Me? Yeah, sad. Why is it sad? You don't know what happens? No, that's why I'm reading it. What, does the dog die at the end? No, I'm not saying anything. Look how much I had left. <sighs> Right at the beginning of the movie, he says something about how he's fulfilling a stereotype. So I think that right off the bat, they sort of, you know, hit that. They allow to, you. Right. Exactly, to allow you to sort of go on with the rest of the picture and not sort of see him as some sort of cliche. And his performance certainly helps that fact. And Kristen Wiig is, is up to task with him as well. But Kristen Wiig has done some serious work before. This isn't the first time she's done that. So if you follow her career, you know that she already has that in her. Walter Mitty, for example, Technically a comedy, the the movie last year with Ben Stiller, but her role was completely straight. Yeah. It's Bill Hader that we usually see constantly being cast uh, as these quirky characters in Judd Apatow movies, and here he pulls it out completely. It's, I mean, this this is all out of the box casting, which is what makes this movie yeah. really really impressive. Even Ty Burrell is playing against type yes. too, and like way against type if you think about it. Um, I thought he was actually really impressive too, because that was a layered character. It wasn't um, as simple as, you know, when they address the issues that are involved between him and Bill Hader's characters. I think the screenwriters, Mark Heyman, who's, did, who's done dark stuff like Black Swan and The Wrestler, yeah. um, and the director, Craig Johnson, they, they gave him enough that he wasn't just a one note stereotype character. Well, I do think that if you watch this film, you can relate to yeah. certain aspects. I mean, you pick your crisis. If you're having uh, trouble in your career, your personal life, your mom, your dad, your sibling, you can pretty much find something for everyone here. So you can relate to, to those bits and pieces. I just was not prepared at 
how many bits and pieces there were. Yeah, and they come across as real individuals. Yes. It, it, it doesn't come across as, oh, they're over-dramatizing things or trying to no, hammer home some not. kind of message. Yeah. No, I mean, it really is about two characters who really do seem like people that you would know in your everyday lives who simply are going through some issues or a lot of issues. <laughs> uh, and, you know, the film is is stronger because of that. Skeleton Twins is fresh, funny, but also heartbreaking, but it's worth it just to see the Oscar caliber performances. So I say, see it. Stellar performances make this film a must see, but I think the depressing subject matter makes it more suitable for the small screen. So I say stream it. Given the bleak subject matter, the Skeleton Twins is not for everyone, but if you like well-told stories with good performances, this is one you may bond with. See it. Well, our vote's set up to two and a half tickets, which is a see it for the Skeleton Twins. Cheers. 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 To Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito. Yes. The knee bone is connected to... Hip bone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's actually not true. <laughs>